Hi everyone. Today we will be seeing how to draw the isometric view of this orthographic view. Orthographic view implies front view and top view. Remember, we require three views actually uh, to draw an isometric view, but we can do it with uh, two, two views also. We can uh, have uh, front view and top view, or front view and side view. So with this uh, views also we can complete the isometric view. Okay. So uh, in the figure he has given us uh, front view and the top view. The dimensions of the front view are 30 into 50. The width is 30 and the height is uh, 50. And the remember, this is very imp uh, very much important. This width of the front view is equal to this width of the top view. Okay, and this length will be equal to the width of the side view. And uh, the height of the front view will be equal to the height of the uh, side view. So these are the things which are to be remember. Okay. Okay, so this is the example. See, this length, this length is equal to the width of the front view will be equal to the width of the top view. Remember this. Right, next, the height or the thickness of the top view is equal to the width of the side view. This length will be equal to this length. And the height of the front view will be equal to the height of the side view. Okay, this will be equal to this, this will be equal to this, and this length will be equal to this length. Okay, this is very much important when you are drawing an isometric view. So keep this in mind, right? Now see the dimensions. So the dimension of the front view are 30 into 50, and the top view are uh, 30 into 15 with this dimensions we are going to uh, draw the isometric box and in that we are going to complete the figure so let's see that first of all we are going to draw the uh, 3d box so first draw a horizontal line of convenient length choose a convenient point on this line and from that point you have to draw a vertical line what is the height of the vertical line so the height of the vertical line is equal to the height of the front view okay so the height of the front view in the figure is given as 50 mm so draw a line of length 50 mm here so after drawing a line of 50 mm you have to choose the what you call the next front view so previously I have shown you the 3d box in that 3d box I am choosing this front view on the right side so if you have a 3d box like this okay so this is the top view obviously so I have to choose the front view and side view so this side I am taking as the front view okay this is the top view, top view and this side I am taking as the front view okay so the height of the front view is uh, 30 mm the width is Sorry, the height of the front view is 50 mm and the width is 30 mm. So now, what you have to do is you have to mark 30 mm from this point. So this is 30 mm. Draw a line of uh, 30 mm in this direction. So similarly at the top also do it the same. This is 50 mm. So this is the uh, front view. I have drawn it in the isometric condition. So I have uh, literally drawn a plane that is a rectangle in the isometric view. This angle is 30 degrees. Here. Right. Next what I have to do is I have to draw the top view. So I am drawing the top view here. Right. Create the drafter here. Or you can do it another way. You can mark this length as uh, 30 mm here.
mark 30 degrees on this direction and uh, you have to draw a line of length uh, 15 mm in this direction y 15 degrees I will show you this is 1 and 5 this is 15 so what I am doing actually I am drawing a, if this is the front view this side will be the side view obviously so in the previous uh, demonstration I have shown, shown you this side is 15 in the figure so this side is equal to the front view the, sorry the side view width this is 15 so this is 15 so that is the reason I am drawing the 15 length here okay then drag your drafter and uh, lock it to this line and draw a line of height 50 mm very simple join these two points these two this gap will be obviously 15 again right now what you are doing you are trying to complete the top view so without the side view given in the figure i have completed the side view because i know the side view dimensions how i know the front view height is equal to the side view height and the side view width is equal to top view width that is the reason i could complete it right now bring the drafter in this position lock it and uh, take it here and mark a length of 30 mm it's 30 mm and complete the figure right so this is the isometric view of this orthographic view so this is the final figure so this is the front view this is the side view and this is the top view right so this is uh, 30 degrees here and that's it so this is how you do draw the isometric drawing okay